Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Hosts. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add sub-users to your web service. Now, before we start, I do have to note that this isn't going to give people access to cPanel. This will just give them access to certain features, such as webmail, FTP, and also web disk. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to scroll down until nearly right at the bottom we get to preferences. And here we're going to click on the user manager. And then once we're in here, we're going to click add user. So then of course, you're going to put this person's information. For the full name, we'll just put Pebble Host. And then for the username, this is the username that will actually show up in the panel. So I've just given them Pebble Admin 2. Then for the domain, this will be the domain that they have permissions on. And then for their contact email address, you can see that this is actually a required field. However, it doesn't actually have to be. It's only required if the option below is set to the user will set the account password. As in order for them to set the password themselves, cPanel will have to send them an email. However, if you instead want to set the password yourself, as you can see, the contact email address doesn't become required anymore. So choose whichever option you want to pick. I'm gonna pick set the user's password manually. And then of course you can enter a password. CPanel even has password generator features, which will generate strong passwords for you. Then at the bottom, we have the services, and these will be the services that you have access to. So if you want them to have access to email, go ahead and enable it. And of course, if you want them to have access to FTP and web disk, you can enable these as well. So for email, you can set the quota that you're allowing for the email. By default, it's set to 1024 megabytes, which is equal to one gigabyte. So you can obviously change this number yourself and also change the size from megabyte to gigabyte to terabyte and also petabyte. Or if you don't want to give them a limit, you can also just choose unlimited. And this will let them use as much as they want. Next onto FTP, once again for the quota, you can choose unlimited or you can set them an amount. And once again, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte and also petabyte. And then here where it says home directory, this is where their files can be placed. So then finally onto web disk. Once again, another home directory, which will give them their own web disk. But at the bottom, you can give them either read and write permissions or just read permissions. Now read and write means that they can read the files and also edit and upload them. However, if you choose read only, it means they can only look at them. So choose the option that you want to have. Once you've done that, go to the bottom left and click create. And there we go, we have now created a new sub-user. Anyway, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.